Good morning, Leticia. It is a beautiful morning out here. A whole lot of smiles at this start line. 4,100 people are running the Shamrock and Half Marathon. This is the third wave. We had a wave go off at 745, another at 8, and this is the last group that's going to be taken off here in just a couple of minutes. This is the 13th year of this uh, annual event, Half Marathon, 13.1 miles, so lucky 13, and it is just a beautiful morning. It, that hasn't always been the case for this event. Last year it was pouring rain. I've run this event a couple of times. Every time I've run it, it's pouring rain and freezing cold. So these people are just really happy, really excited and ready to go if you can't tell. This event benefits a local uh, cancer organization called Triumph Foundation, which helps get people, cancer survivors, uh, back on the fitness road to recovery after they have gone through treatment. So a really great local organization uh, that will benefit from that. These people, as you can tell, are getting ready to take off. It sounds like they're starting that countdown right now. One, two, three, cheer. They're going to run over the Tower Bridge, uh, down through Sacramento, around the Capitol, over to Old Sacramento, and come back here. And what's really cool about this race is they get to run onto Rayleigh Field and uh, see their picture on the big screen there on the Jumbotron. And it's really just a great way to finish and a uh, fun, energetic, exciting event and a great morning for it. And they are getting ready to take off, it looks here. Look, oh, two minutes and 45 seconds. So just the beginning of a 13.1 mile run that for some of them will take two hours. For some of them may take a little bit longer. We're told that this course will be closed for four hours after this last group takes off. So if you are in the West Sac, Old Sac, downtown area, uh, just be forewarned that there may be some road closures for the next four hours or so. Reporting live in West Sacramento, Kristen Samos, KCRA 3 News.